Apparently, the name of this song is called Stolen Dreams, Lost Light. And it really does give off that kind of a tone. Something terrible happened here. And pretty soon it's going to be up to us to figure out exactly what the hell just happened in this place. Regardless, welcome back to another episode of Octopath Traveler, everybody. In this episode, we are going to be doing some housekeeping after making the very dangerous and panic trek to Northreach, to say the least. Because, Christ, I don't think I've ever been so nervous in this damn game. But regardless, I guess there's nothing else to do but start asking around and talking to townspeople. Hello. This is Northreach, the northernmost edge of the land. I can't inquire you until I'm level 50. But what do you have to steal? An empowering necklace. This is our first necklace of the entire game. These are the highest level accessories that improve your stats directly. I'll definitely take that. And I'll also take your refreshing jam and your medium olive of life. Could anybody else benefit? Well, it's either going to be Therion or Hanit. Who's going to take the bracelet? Well, let's remove both of them and see who needs it the most. It looks like Hanit desperately needs that necklace by a large margin. Now she has 3,000 HP. And we can give Therion the empowering bracelet as a sort of a hand-me-down. Alright. Is there anything else that... No, we already talked and spoke to him, so... We stole from him and we talked to him, so there's basically nothing else we have to do here. I can't challenge you either? It looks like I need to be level 50 or higher to challenge you. Right. Cold here, isn't it? It's the northernmost town in the Frostlands, after all. Damn right it is. I'll take your energizing pomegranate, your other energizing pomegranate, but I won't take your empty coin pouch, because it won't really be very useful to me. Things are looking up! You wouldn't believe I'd the deal I got on this ring. Goof, that fellow was desperate. Drove him right down till he was practically paying me to take it. Though I ran into a bit of a rough spot myself soon after. Had to sell it off to a peddler of such things. Got a better price than what I paid for it, at least. Alright, whatever you say. I'll take your resistant nut. Or not. What in the world? Alright, let's try again. Alright, there we go. And I'll take your Fool's Gold Ore and your Curious Antique. Fantastic. Let's actually check out the Provisioners, see what they have. Interesting. Ooh, we can actually buy Healing Great Bunches over here. I'll definitely be taking... Uh, let's buy... I don't have... I don't really want to spend that much money on these things, but I'll buy 20 of them. We don't need Inspiriting Plums anymore. We need Inspiriting Plum M's. For where we are in the game. So I'll buy 16 more. Christ, they're expensive, though. Alright, what do we have for Alphen's Concoctions? We got some Ruinous Dust. I'll stock up on that. Well, Injurious Dust, rather. And Ruinous Dust. Again, this thing is... This is really, really expensive. I can't sp spare the money to buy any of that right now. It's just too expensive. We'll take a rest at the end later. I don't think it's necessary for us right now. Good day. You know of a man named Joshua. He's quite special to me. I do hope he's well. Interesting. Joshua's poem, it restores HP and SP to a single ally. I don't think I'll need that. I will take this ice amulet though, and I will take this magic nut. Or not? Okay, I'm sorry. Whoops. Let's try that again. Really? Come on, it's a 65% chance. That's better than a coin toss at the very least. Really? Ugh, don't tell me this is going to be where it ruins my reputation here. Oh, I guess not. And I guess the snowy cape isn't half bad either. I guess I'll take it. Anybody in the tavern? Ooh, we have a purple chest here. This has a master's longbow. Is it better than the... It is! It's much better than the Huntress's longbow. Wow, finally, we have a decent bow for Hanit. Holy crap. Alright, and Therion already has a Huntress's longbow, so we'll, we'll, we'll let him have that. 
Greetings. You're a strange one, coming all the way to a place like this. There's nothing here but an old, rundown church. Ooh, you have quite a bit on you. I'll take everything, including your fortifying nut. Oh, damn it. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to pay this guy to restore reputation, huh? Yes, I know our unfortunate reputation retreat precedes us. For 1,000 leaves? Alright, that's fine. Alright. Yes, we'll be on our best behavior now. Alright. There we go. Finally, someone we can actually inquire. Ah, there's nothing like that first pint after a hard day's work. It really warms the bones. What's your story? A mercenary born in the Frostlands who made his way to Northreach in search of work. He believes that the strong have an obligation to defend the weak, and refuses any contract that would force him to act against his conscience. Quite a noble mercenary, I must say. A stimulating necklace, huh? And a platinum sword. That is definitely a good fit for Therion. It'll, it's finally better than his knight's sword. Nice. And we also got a stimulating necklace for that. I'm really happy we're finally getting to these necklaces. I've been waiting for ages to have some really decent accessories. Alright. We already stole from you? Right. Looks like you have a side quest for us. Byron the Noble. My house, the great house of Byron, has a noble lineage. Not that many would know it now to look at us. How far we have fallen. I haven't had to part with the precious ring that was our family's heirloom. It seems our great house will truly end with me. So begins the tale of Heirloom of a High House. Is, it, is that the same ring that this guy here is talking about? Looks like he sold it to some other merchant somewhere. Christ. What's your story? A descendant of the once prestigious House of Byron. Generations ago, the family sacrificed much for the sake of Northreach and was beloved by all for it. However, by the time he was born, the townsfolk had long since forgotten his ancestors' noble deeds. That's a rather tragic tale. What do you have to steal? Why can't I steal this healing grape M? Oh, right. I have 99 of them. <laughs> Oops. Looks like you have you have a side well quest for us too. Traveling author. I search in tales I, I travel in search of tales and legends of the noble dragons that I might put them down in a book. Or I would, but my master has asked me to assist him with his own work. So I cannot yet set out to investigate the three great dragons of this world. Sorry. Could I ask you to perhaps assist me in my research? I would know about the great dragons found in the Frostlands, the Clifflands, and the Highlands. I'd be greatly obliged if you could do this for me. Really, I would. So begins the tale of Here Be Dragons. A writer fascinated by Legend of Dragons. For many years, he had no interest in maintaining his physical health until he read a travelogue filled with tales of dragons. Then and there, he resolved to follow in the author's footsteps and embark on a similar journey. Looks like he really turned his life around thanks to that book. Ooh, a sprightly necklace. Nice. We are rolling in the accessories today. Can anybody benefit from it? Therion has empowering equipment. Not He doesn't really... He relies on his equipment to give him speed, like the platinum sword here. And it doesn't look like... I guess we could give Ulbrich a thing, but let's see. It looks like Alphen might need it more, though, because his speed is even lower. Yeah, it definitely looks like we could give this thing to Alphen. Alright, I'm going to take off the critical bracelet and replace it with a sprightly necklace. That should hopefully give him a leg up. In fact, it'll make him the second, fast the second fastest character on the party. Alright, let's check out this man who's blocking the door. I'm curious to see if there's anything there. Is this just... Uh, this just leads to the cathedral. Greetin to ye. This whole town is surrounded by the castle walls. There's a castle here? I'll take your refreshing gem, your olive bloom, and your purifying seed, though. Can we challenge you reasonably? No. I'd hesitate to. What's in the armor? We have a trinity sword. Holy crap, that's even better than... Interesting. And we also have a Yeti's Longbow, which is even better than... Wow, really? Like, these are fantastic weapons. Absolutely gorgeous. Can we sell anything? Ooh, yes, we do have quite a bit of things to sell. Like this Fool's Gold Ore. 
the silver filled pouch, and this curious antique. Great. Alright, let's see. The refined sword versus the trinity sword. It would definitely be a fantastic fit for Therion. I'll buy one for him. And this Doombreaker. Hanit and Therion could definitely make fantastic use out of that. It'll improve their physical attack by 40, it looks like. Christ, we have quite a bit of stuff we can buy. We have this critical bracelet too. You don't really get to buy accessories all that often. This silent cape looks r actually really good on everybody here. And as well as the silent bandana. Alright, let's see. For now, I think armor is more important to us. So I'll buy, th I'll buy three of these platinum vests. And I'll give them to... Should I give it to Hanit? Uh, I guess I will. And I'll give it to Alfin and also to Ulbrick. Therion, however, will get to make use of the Silent Cape to improve his evasion tremendously. And as well as the rest of his defense. Fantastic. It looks like we are all set. Unfortunately, we don't have any money to buy any more good equipment, unfortunately. Oh, well. I guess I'll just have to wait a little while longer yet. Is there anything back here? Doesn't really look like it. There's a golden chest here. It has one refreshing jam. Alright. Definitely take one of those. Let's see if there's anything over here in the cathedral. Can I actually enter this house? Or, is, or are these stairs just for show? Yeah, it looks like those stairs are just for show. Alright, let's head to the cathedral. Yeah, it looks like there's somebody else here. Who are you? <laughs> I've heard stories about that Byron lad, about how he mopes about the town, lamenting how he's fallen into such disgrace. But that is simply the way of the world. The gods are fickle, and those who rise up must eventually come down. I imagine anyone who has studied history could tell you that there have been worse reversals of fortune in the past. The Byrons can yet regain their former glory. Hmm, he looks pretty wise. An elderly man known by all the residents of Northreach, though none can recall exactly when he first came to the village. Despite having resided here for quite some time, some say he is not aged a day, which is only fueled speculation regarding his past. Interesting. What do you have to steal? I'll take your energizing pomegranate. What's in this chest here? An unspiriting plum M. There's another chest over here. Oh. I guess we can't go there just yet. Interesting. It looks like we've reached the part of the game where money's going to be in drastically short supply. I don't know what we can do about that. Looks like Northreach is also a pretty small town. I think we've pretty much explored all of it. I'll have to see what I can do about our money troubles, though. In the meantime, I will be taking a brief save while I can, because unfortunately that is all the time I have for you today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys did enjoy this relatively short episode of Octopath Traveler, but I hope you'll stay tuned for the next one, where we will finally begin Therion's Chapter 4. Until then, though, I hope you guys have a great day, and take care.